Mm. This is what it is. When Tom Brady is in the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl and he's down by 10 points and it's impossible to win and he comes back to win, how does he do it? His nervous system and mine does the exact same thing when I get on stage every time. His testosterone explodes up. This huge explosion of the testosterone, which gives you drive. Doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, drive. Also, in that state, you remember everything. Your cognitive capacity and your memory capacity goes through the roof. Why? Think of if I asked you where you were during 9-11, and every person on earth, including non-Americans, can tell you where they were, who was sitting there, what was on TV, or where they They know the moment. Mm-hmm. If I asked you where on 8-11, you have no clue. It's because information without emotion is barely retained. But with that emotional drive of testosterone, but usually with testosterone also comes stress. The stress hormone is called cortisol. And so it usually causes you not to maintain that focus because you have the drive, but you also have the fear, kind of like your certainty, uncertainty thing. But why, did the, why does the testosterone rise in that moment, like scientifically? Like what causes that? They don't know what causes it, they but don't... I can tell you. It's, okay. it's changes in your focus and your physiology, the way you use your body and the way you use your mind. Because okay. I know how to do it. I do it every time I get on stage, right? So, but what's interesting is the cortisol drops through the floor for me, for Tom Brady, for all these guys. So all you have is this clear focused drive. And here's why I'm telling you this. It's the answer to your question. Long answer, but it's the answer. Because I tell you my idea, I'm going to tell you what they proved scientifically. They then started following my audiences. When they first started testing me, it was, well, everything was open. Then it's now COVID. So now I'm doing seminars where I'm meeting people in their homes doing this. Now, the cool thing is I built this studio with 50 foot high ceilings. I you had like the Professor X set up over there. I really do. 25, <laughs> 20 foot LED screens, 0.67 resolution, the highest resolution in the world. And I put everybody on there. Now I see you in your home in Australia. I see your kids. I see your dogs. I see the sun rise and fall because <laughs> I'm doing this. When I start at 10 a.m., you know, in Palm Beach, Florida, where I start, it's already midnight in mm-hmm. Sydney, Australia. And they're going to go from midnight to one in the afternoon. And we lose less than 3% of the people That's amazing. because they're so engaged. So here's what happens. They went and measured people around the world in different countries. And it's unbelievable. There's something called mirror neurons. If you watch somebody paddling, a group of guys paddling, and you are connected visually to it, many of us who are empathetic feel the same kind of feeling inside. The more you use your mirror neurons, the better they get. That's also where empathy comes from, right? Some of us look at somebody and we feel them. I'm sure you do that. Not everybody does, but the more that's developed, it's more there. Well, the audience mirrors me, and it literally looks like music when they put it on a chart. You see everybody's biochemistry around the world rising up with all this testosterone, and you see the cortisol drop off the roof, and then they stay at this level, and they're learning at that level, so a year later, it's still there. That's the conditioning process I'm talking about. 